Hi, my name is Peter Huang, and I'm a vocal percussionist here in Singapore. I'm from a group called My Capella. We are a vocal band, uh, so that means we don't use any instruments. Uh, and in this band, I play the role of the drummer, and uh, I have no background in playing actual drums, never taken a drum lesson. Uh, but I've always paid attention to and taken an interest in what drummers do and how they prepare and how they think. And so I've, I've always wanted to, to understand uh, the thought processes and the preparation that goes into uh, the, the preparing of a song and a show. So in this series, uh, we'll have two guests uh, for each episode, and it's going to be a variety of uh, drum styles and instruments. And I will talk to them and we'll work on some music together and we'll try to find out what makes them, uh, what makes them tick. Yeah. So, uh, for today's episode, our first guest is Jia Rong. Hi. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, uh, we're going to have a quick self-intro from you. Uh, who you are, how long have you been doing this, so on and so forth. How long? Uh, hi, I'm Terong. Um, I'm session drummer in Singapore. I've been doing it for le- 11 years. I think this year is the 12th year. Um, full-time? Full-time, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm currently full-time with the Team Box group, um, the band leader and the drummer there. Um, and then, so far, we have been doing concerts and everything that IMC Life Global brings us. Mm. Yeah. When did you start playing drums? Not like not <coughs> full time, but like when when did you first encounter drumming? Um, I played percussion when I was in secondary school, so that was thirteen years old. But I played like I just learned how to play this drum kit about eleven years ago. Oh, yeah. so you were doing other types of yeah? I was doing like classical stuff, like timpani and tune percussion things for for a good half of the. Did not see that coming. I didn't know that. Okay. Cool. All right. Very cool. So let's move on to our second guest, Mr. Mohano! Uh, can we please get a bit of a self-intro of who you are, your background, how long you've been doing this, so on and so forth? Okay, uh, my name is Mohammad Noor. I play drums and percussions and uh, I was born into a musical family, so I was raised as a drummer and percussionist since the age of five. Right. And uh, I've been playing music for the past 50 years, and that's what I've been doing. F- 50, yeah? Not 15, <laughs> eh? This, this is the... A totally different number already from a lot, like I cannot even visualize playing that long. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so let's get a little bit more in depth. Huh? So let's go back to Jia Rong for a while. So you mentioned that you were playing other types of uh, classical percussion instruments and so on. Yep. So then you get into this and did you experiment with other types of drumming as well or, or did you just pick this from the get-go after you finished school and stuck with this or like what was the thought process because there's a very wide variety out there right. right um i mean i when i was in secondary school all the way to when i went to lasalle college of music right i was doing classical so i always thought i wanted to be an orchestra player <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> weird, right? Oh, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. That's what you wanted to do. I wanted to. I thought lah. <laughs> okay. I wanted to do like orchestra stuff, but um, the the end of my first year, I um, we were forced to join like the pop workshop and the jazz workshop. So the oh. classical um, course, everyone they they will have to do the pop workshop thing as well. Right. So. Obviously, I, don't, I didn't know how to play the drum key, but like, I, I could do like basic beats, but not, not anything more, right? So they told me to play tambourine, and um, we have a final year course thing where we go to a bar. I think it was called Yellow Jello and Clucky. Ah, yes. Yeah, so, so they wanted me to play three sets of tambourine. <laughs> then I'm like, what? <laughs> no, right? So I went to uh, learn some stuff from my friends. 
Um, and then from then on, you know, my friends kept teaching me and then I do some research on YouTube and work out the mechanics. Then towards the end of my last I, I knew I didn't want to do classical anymore. Yeah. Life changing course, ah. <laughs> so it was a requirement of the of the. Uh, no, it was the first year. Yes, like the foundation year. Like ah. we just have to learn. We don't have to learn the kit. We just have to learn what pop music and what jazz right. is all about. So naturally, it became this, ah. So exposure at the mm. course foundation year level. Yep, yep. Changed your entire yeah. trajectory. I mean, right? I could stick to the tambourine, lah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know the three sets tambourine the tire. <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, it made more sense for me to like learn something new, lah. Cool. Which I'm glad I did because, like, I think my towards the second year, I wanted to change course really. Mm. Yeah, I wanted to change to pop, but I thought it was already more than half the. The, right, right, the right. diploma already, so might as well just stick to it. Wait, so your diploma is in... Most classical, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anecdote of the day, I didn't see that coming at all. Did you? Did you you no. don't know. You don't know, huh? No. So strange. When you were saying that your original goal was to be in an orchestra, then I was visualizing you in a suit. Yeah, so I did, I did, I did, I did. So there was a period, like when I was in school, because La Salle didn't have any orchestra, so I joined the Singapore National Youth Orchestra. So I was like the guy that played the symbol, the the weight count, 2,000 bars, and then <laughs> first one, the miss. Uh, the miss. Yeah. <laughs> then the, <laughs> then the, the conductor stare at you, is it? Uh, uh, I don't know whether he knows. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot of other things going on on this yeah, uh, chart. Right. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and Mr. Muhammad Noor, so similarly, you were born into a family of traditional percussion? Players uh, yeah, I, I studied uh, tabla traditionally as okay. Indian percussion. I grew up playing Indian music. Mm-hmm. But of course, being a Singaporean, you, know, you, you listen to all different kinds of genres of music, right? So in the musical family, I got two other brothers who are musicians as well. Also oh, percussion? No, uh, oh. one is a uh, keyboard, keyboardist and uh, one is a singer-songwriter, guitar player. Right. Yeah, and so uh, so we've been very much in the Indian industry from a very young age, but we still play other genres of music. We still influenced by all the English and uh, jazz and all the other other stuff like even classical and all that. So we grew up. So talking about what Sharong said earlier about he playing have to play three sets of tamperin, right? <laughs> Well, I started off with tamperin. <laughs> that, 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 that was my first instrument when I was five years old. And, and, okay. and tamperin was the instrument that I had to play at Victoria Theatre at the age of five. Mm. So that, that was a show that I had to play tamperin. So do we have something in common? Yeah. Tamperin is the work. You know, that, that's, the that's the thing. You know? is, that the, is that the correct starting point for kids? <laughs> I have no idea. But then, you know, it, it works well. I guess kids like the sound of jingles and tamperin. Oh, yeah. I think works well. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. So along the way, I picked up, you know, in the band, I had to be every everything else. So because since I was the youngest, I, I had to not only play tabla. Sometimes I asked to play other percussion instruments. So I picked up everything along the way, and I became a drummer as well. And uh, was that much later? No, actually, everything started at the age of seven. Seven onwards, I, I was already growing up playing all the instruments. So right, right, right. I pretty much played almost. Uh, different instruments from the very young age. I was a drummer, I was playing congas, I was playing uh, tablas, I was playing everything. Yeah. I also played mandolin, I played guitar, I played keyboards, I played the, fl- I played the flute, I, I went and studied the flute, I played clarinet, I played saxophone. So I played everything until the age of 16 and I told myself that I had enough of all the instruments, I just want to stick to drums and percussion. Okay. So yeah. that was that your own decision? Yeah, yeah, that was my own decision. Okay. Of course, my parents wanted me to be a, a, a woodwind player, like either play the saxophone or clarinet. Oh. They, they loved the way I, I, I play the instrument, but I right. said no. Right, you have your own path to to walk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but w- within the world of drum and percussion, like, do you identify to one direction or another particularly? Like, are you? Do you feel that you're more of a traditional Indian percussionist no. or more of a pop? Of no, a, no. I, 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 I fresh, I, I'm quite open to everything. I, I, I try to study every every genre of music. I, I go into the basic and find out more details about the basic, and then I find my own thing. Wow, yeah. this is so cool, man! I, it's it's inspiring to me, lah. That there's the insistence. I feel that there's this uh, uh, drive to consist, consistently research, uh, which is something I feel that. Uh, I, 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 through this series, I, I find that a lot of the guests also have this uh, kind of insistence in the personality, which is very cool to me. Okay, so after we have gotten to get to know our guests a little bit more, uh, we want to go into a song that uh, we've been discussing before 
that kind of represents the the setup that we have today. Okay, so we have uh, some percussion instruments that I haven't had a chance for you to explain, but we'll we'll talk about it after the song. Hmm. And then we have the kick drum, which is a bit more well known in the mainstream industry. So we're gonna do uh, a Chinese pop song that they picked out because <laughs> it's so difficult. <laughs> Okay, and I have to I have to play guitar and sing this. <laughs> so this is a, a, a Singaporean artist. Yeah, Singaporean. Uh, yeah. Stephanie Sun, uh, our our prized uh, Singaporean artist, and this is Royal the Singfu. And this song back then when it first came out was also uh, created a bit of a hoo ha because of the strange uh, time signature choices that they made, which I don't think happened before, and I don't think has happened ever since. I think I know the story, but... I really? I think I know the story. Okay, if you know the story. I think I know. Okay. Let's hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three. So I was very, 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 very focused on the lyrics and the singing and the playing. So can we allow me to mute my singing, okay? And then I want to turn my mental attention to what you guys are doing because there was so much happening and I would <laughs> like to request to slow it down. Huh? So we sure. just start straight from straight into the chorus. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just hear both of you guys exactly what we're doing but at, at a slower pace. Okay. So you, you pick the... Uh, uh, so it was low, it was low, it was low. Okay, church vibe. Okay, church vibe. Okay, beep. Universal fall. Okay, church. Okay, so... One, two, three. It is a little bit uh, more difficult for me to keep calm when I'm not singing also. Yeah, it all ties in together with the structure of the song, I realise. Okay, we we will just mute you for now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to simplify this further. So let's, let's uh, do the same thing. I will sing a little bit here and there and then alternate between guitar and voice and then we'll just see the relationship between the kick drum. I'm noticing this, la, between mm. the kick drum and the and the, my right hand because uh, I'm trying to synchronize the downbeats with you, right? Right. So, uh, and I'm also trying to pay attention to what you're doing on this side because this is all the decorative stuff that, mm. that you seem to have a particular sequence and I want to ask you about your thought process. Okay, so uh, I might pause in the middle. Huh? Okay, so let's go again. You go, you count off? Same thing? One, two, three. Two, three. You had a you had a a, a, a sequence where you had a dong dong, right? Uh, 
I guess. But is that randomized or by few? Random by few. Random. Uh, by by uh, I, I guess certain parts, uh, it kind of follows the melody. Right. I, Honestly, when I play this song, I'm not thinking five or six or. You're I'm following. Actually, the, I'm the, following the, the melody, the, yeah. The, okay. Yeah, because the, the the I mean, like you say, the melody carries the whole thing. Right. And actually, so is any other music, right? I guess. <laughs> like I mean, sometimes. at least the way I I think about how the way I play, I listen a lot to the melody, so the melody kind of works. Right. Um, I, the melody kind of help helps me to carry the 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 way I think about. Okay, okay, so if I put down my guitar, is it is the, is it gonna make more sense? No, I mean I'm still hearing it, mate. So you you will work okay. <laughs> So let let's say, Jin me. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Jin Chu me i bu, gai zhou de fang xia. Stop. Okay, so so after I finish, gai zhou de fang xia. Dang dang, that's what you're doing, right? Mm. Okay, all right. So I'm now I'm trying to let's let's try to get me to do the drums in my mouth of what you're doing. So okay, go for it. So you 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 do again just the sequence. Okay. Hey hey wait wait wait! Don't do ghost notes first, lah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to throw that in there. You know you gonna sound like that. <laughs> Right, so without the ghost notes, the flavor is gone also. Right? Yeah, so kind of. So you're adding all. The, okay, but your ghost notes are like all the more. Basic, yeah, okay. Yeah, just the, the foundation of yeah, the groove. Yeah, just the basic. Yeah, the basic, the, the <laughs> foundation, uh, the foundation of the groove. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. And then the, the rest is all the all the ling ling long longs. Yeah. So <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of like the the. Yeah. yeah. Tada Yes. So, yes, those are the limitations that the human mouth can't really execute. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, you can. Uh, you, okay, so okay, so if you were to verbalize what you were doing, uh, ha, really? Uh. Yes, yes, yes. For real, for real. I mean, like, I, I can only see the foundation. So every decoration thing is just at the back of my mind, Gary. But if you were to bring it to the front of the so mind. if I have to sing it, <laughs> so if I have to sing it, it's... okay, I can play guitar. <laughs> no lah, <last show. laughs> No, sorry, serious, serious. <laughs> So I'm hearing all this like Yes Okay, okay, so okay, like okay. Thing, you, but So you are doing it so, Okay, that is actually easier for me to learn Oh for, yeah. <laughs> Like, okay, so if we, if we were to drum together You you with your mouth, me with my mouth We, can, we do it again One, two, three, four <laughs> So you're doing, you're doing uh, uh, T's and K's. I guess what? You're doing T K's. D. Yeah, yeah. So, so your kick drum is a D syllable. Yeah, yeah. Whereas mine is a. Oh. But your but your ghost notes are T's and K's. T's, K's, and D's. Yeah. So, so tips of tongue and roof of mouth. Snares are K, is it? K. You're yeah. doing cuts and cuts, right? Cut. Yeah. Okay. So except that I'm doing P P F. Oh. <laughs> ah, I, I lost the roof. Oh, your snare is compressed on my own. My own is raw. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's as how that's that's as loud as I go. <laughs> not, not the same, you wait. That's the ratio five to one, right? <laughs> My one to one. Self, no, self, self barely any compression. Okay, so if if I were to play with my mouth, what you play with your hands? Let's try that together. Okay. One, two, three. Uh. Ah. Play the guitar. Play the guitar might help. One, two, three. Ah, such a difficult song. Okay, so 
Can you slow that down? I'm hearing that hi hat there, like, you know, so. Ah! Yeah, because I'm. I'm boom. Boom. Ah, I'm losing the groove. Okay, so this this is where I have to go back and do homework. Okay, but I, I think I caught a few uh, a few bars here and there at, where I was able to capture it. Okay, wow, this is tough. Okay, all right, we have to move on. <laughs> you were doing a whole different ball game, which is <laughs> yeah. like I was just playing the bongos. I was, just, oh. I, I was just interplaying through it, it, the the spaces in, a, in between. So what is your thought process as he's doing this stuff? Uh, I listen to the groove because uh -huh. she's holding the groove and of course the, the groove runs in my head as well with, yeah. with, with whatever time signatures the song is and um, and uh, like all the ghost notes which is a kind of soft that comes out of the drummer so I take that out and, and I play certain parts in between all those so that uh, it doesn't really clash with uh, the drummer yeah but there are times when we fall together where uh, when he plays the tom on the tom with the double notes on the tom uh, because it's uh, we got playing five and six and then five five so on the six is like a it's like a cue which is what he was doing dun, dun. yeah right so it's like a cue so then we keep it like a little cue point for us as well yeah so, you know so oh. in a way we keep it as a cue within us so we play that but we play it musically yeah the choice of tones that we among our drums mm -hmm. So that it also cues the musicians around us when we play, so that they know that okay, it, there is, there is something. So it's going to the next next section, next bar, and all that kind of stuff. Didn't didn't really think about it that way. That, that, that's player. a very good point, actually. Like the way he, the way he said it. Do I do it as a guitar player? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. But, but for you, it's natural because you're singing the song. Yeah. But but it'll help subconsciously. It helps because you're hearing it in the band, boom, boom, and then you just yeah. start. You know, so it, it, it helps one another in, in, in that context. I guess that's the second line. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it, yeah. it matches the, 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 the lyrics. Okay, cool. Okay, then I want to ask about this thing. Or this thing, I've, the Udu drum. How do you spell that? U-D-U. U-D-U. You do. Yeah, Udu. 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 So it's, it's more of a... What Udu. is... This is a very new question. What is it? And it sounds so cool. It's clay pot, and uh, so of course the clay pot is a, it's an African instrument. So it's clay pot with some metal alloys. That's why you hear, yeah, you can still oh. hear the metallic sound. Mm. They, they they have it in the Indian side and, and other other cultures as well. You can you can see it all around the world. They have they have certain kind of drums that comes in the size of a pot or the look of okay. a pot and all that. They all got different make from different cultures, different parts of the world. So this is an African made or uh, follows their design. So. There's a, there's a definite attack. For us, it go more on the throat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what's the Oh, you have such a low voice. <laughs> Goodness! And then and then comes all your finger sounds. And then, of course, if, if it is high enough, you can like... This one I have to use more. Uh, so, yeah, so you play with the tones. And, uh, I have to use a different kind of mic. So even in this, if I if if I choose to play that song earlier uh, with that groove, and, and and if he's if he's not playing drumsticks, and if he's maybe playing some other like brushes, uh -huh. and make it more oh, subtle, and then uh, it will sound different. Right. So let's try that. Oh, he's got his own bag of gear as well. Totally different vibe, really, huh? Yeah. But yeah. that's the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. This, this original sounds more with the brushes. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. actually does original sound with brushes. So when you when you cup the the top uh, hole, that kind of sounds like a the, like a kick drum. Yeah, it cuts that low resonance. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then you it do fingertips is like a like a. Yeah, this is more snare ish. More snare. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is it? Stuff now. Yeah. Goodness, your hands are so fast. I feel like I got mental lag. 
<laughs> yeah, that's but because I... of my tabla playing. That's because I started playing tabla from a very young age. So, so my, the, the my fingers are already very much in, in, in there. Really. The, sub, the subdivisions all there already. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no substitute for 50 years of, uh, of experience. Okay, and these are the bongos. The bongos, yeah. And these are... Latin American. Yeah, so yeah. we have a mix of cultures here. Can you briefly walk us through all the uh, toys on the <laughs> shakers? Uh, this is the shakers. Okay. I mean, even it's for that. It's... Mm. What is that toy? So what? it's 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 a choice of sound that you want to use in a song. Uh-huh. You know, if I fish it earlier, we were playing bongos. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If I was playing brushes, I would have probably played this, or maybe I played a shaker, or maybe I would have played playing a triangle. Right. So that's the role of a percussionist. Wait, wait, wait. The, the, the thing in your left hand. Right? What is that? Kashishi. Where is that from? This so cool. This is all uh, part of Brazil, African. It's all all that side like, that continent. Like. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so cool. Kashishi. Okay. And the rest are like. It's kind of wood block. Okay, wood blocks are yeah. a bit more it's, it's all uh, commonly con- seen. Yeah, commonly seen, cowbell. Cowbell, yes. Always, then, always um, could use more cowbell. That's, of that's course, the, I have all my other, joke. my woodoo stuff. <laughs> Sounds of water. Right, so these have like particles inside there? Uh, yeah, they are all between feet. These are, these are uh, goat's nails. Goat's nails? Yeah, I don't know how many goats. Like. And this is some some seeds from certain certain trees. Seeds, okay. Yeah, it's also the same. Are, are these real? Or yeah, like yeah, they're all, they all real. Wow. They're all real. And this is some sort of a silk bag, and which they and there's some seeds inside. Goodness, such an interesting combination. So you, I guess the collection of uh, toys is endless, la. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's endless. It's, 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 there's a lot to like. Sometimes if, you just I just go and research and see what is interesting. If you were to estimate in your fifty years of playing, how much? Oh, I don't even know how to describe this. How much kg of equipment do you have collected over the years? Uh, just show your living room. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my living room is just all drums. Really? Yeah. It, uh, basically, my living room and my one room is I got, yeah. You know, so I I have to make space like I. I don't own a TV anymore. Oh no! <laughs> because everything, I got no space to put the TV. Use your, use your phone to watch the one. No, 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 no. I just use my, my computer room only. Goodness, okay. So this is a, definitely a, 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 an endeavor that requires space. Uh. Yeah, yeah wow. a lot of space. Okay. Cool, all right. I am going to, to, to embarrass myself and try to play what you guys have played for many, many years. Uh, and once again, I've never had a drum lesson in my life, not for real. Never owned actual drums in my life, not for real. Uh, so let's figure this out. So I, I am aware that the kick drum is the right foot and the hi-hat is on the left and then the snare is here and then there's sometimes cymbals. So like, and this is me just explaining to you guys, like, I don't know whether you guys have seen me perform before. But like when I perform, I do have my offhand that's not holding the mic actually trying to oh, yeah, air yeah, drum. Yeah. Yep, yep. So like, Mm. Which is kind of wrong because the hi-hat's here. But I just visualize something down here. Mm -hmm. So, but how would you teach a blank slate person how to play this song? But like the basic of it, you got it already, right? Right? Because you already know how it sounds. In my just brain, not with my legs no, and so hands. You, all you need to do, your next step is to relate that sound to the physical instrument. Okay, okay. okay. So, what do I do first? How about you sing a beat first? <laughs> Easier, right? Okay, can we just start with 4-4 four, four first, huh? Yeah, so, so if, sing a beat, like, sing a bar beat or something. <laughs> this is the most basic. Okay, right? this one, you come on and play it. Something else, something else. <laughs> so, if it was this one... Uh, Okay, so because you're not you're unable to sing your hi-hat like tss, 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 right. So yeah. that one what the 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 That's me trying to include more hi-hat into it. Okay, so the, then when it comes to this is yeah. it's more like coordination four-way kind of four-way coordination. <laughs> okay. So then what I would do 
or how how I will teach is basically you try to get your snare, your kick and your snare. However you sing it, you try to get it here first. What was I doing? So you do it boom, 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 boom. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yo, this is very springy. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, cut. Oh, so it's different from what you sing it. You sing it? Yeah, it's a. Ah, okay. Because I, as, as you might imagine, I'm actually kind of thinking of everything as a as a linear thing. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, because yeah, idea, yeah. So I'm not thinking it as different hat limbs, right? Right. So so for now, my these thing, are the, the hi hat I get thrown off. Really. These two are the only linear thing lah for now. Okay. Ah, yeah. Right, they don't land. They don't land together lah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Does that sound okay? So based on I feel what like my grip is all wrong. <laughs> to what am I doing? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter lah. Doesn't matter. Okay, so whatever you're saying is that you're saying boom, 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 right? Yes. Boom. Okay, so you can do the same thing if you are thinking linear lah. <laughs> so boom, 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 da, right? Da. Da. Ah, I'm not. I'm not linking. Ah. Oh, I got it one side. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the first bar. <laughs> <laughs> then I cannot continue already. You try, the continue. you try the first bar again. One, two, three, four, four. Ah. <laughs> so, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Then I lose it. So my key only got two. <laughs> if I add more, then I, I get confused already. So right before your snare, you add one high hat. So Okay. Yeah, about that. Yeah, so if you think linear then if you're singing linear, then this is the right. whatever you're singing. Like. Yeah, that, that's very close to what I'm saying. But what yeah. what are you doing? You're, you're keeping this going all the time? Also, I have like different accents there. La. <laughs> There's so much calculation going on. No, nah, not really. Nah. All right, how do we start? <laughs> okay, um, like every instrument, like like the way you sing, because you, you interpret the sound of the drums, right? Yeah. With, with the vocalizing the sound of the yes. drums. So, even for percussions, uh, we also interpret the sound. You know, you know. So we also have. So whenever I'm singing, naturally my hands are already moving to the direction of the sound of the Yeah, because your ghost, your ghost playing. Yeah, so everything is going. So it's it's it's, it's quite natural, lah. Because when you know the tonal call it the, the tonal sound of the instruments, uh -huh. then whatever you're reciting is just basically moving hands towards where the tone of the sound is. Right. So it's like how you interpret it, playing the bass drum with the leg, and you know your snare on the left. It's the same about so the the pattern basically is is in the I'm using two hands. You want to use one hand also can. So you're just using one small part of your yeah. finger. It's a finger. finger. Just one finger. Most of the time it's index finger. When I, when when it comes to the the, the the right hand side of the bigger drum then. It's more of say, then you get a much more fatter sound. See, because it's, yeah, you get a thinner sound with one finger, and it's, you get more rounded what, sound. Do, what happens if you open your finger? Um, it looks like Spider-Man. <laughs> but it works as well? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's nice 
because it helps. Right, right, right. So I'm just wondering if it changes the sound at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So normally we don't really op open our hands. It's more uh, more together. Okay. Because it's and also it's it's the size of the drums. You can't really open your hands so much. You know, mm. so it, it's it's all about there. I noticed your hands are actually quite quite large. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the size of his hand. It's Michael Jordan's hand. <laughs> yeah. So it's. So you can try. It's tuck, 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 yeah, so that you can you can hold it together. Yeah, yeah it's it's it, it, it takes it takes a quite a muscle soul. <laughs> is it the catatonic phase that uh, a bit constipated? <laughs> so right hand, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so if you start playing it with two fingers, two hands, then it's... Um... It's straight 16. Is that straight, is that straight 16 notes? But only thing this time, the accent, one falls on the other hand. So that, that, that. It's all, straight, it's all straight 16. So. Yes. Yeah, so you just straight 16, then you alternate hands when you need to. Do your choice of trousers play into consideration? <laughs> ah, I, I believe so. No, you, cannot wear, you cannot wear silk pants there. Eh. You tear it there, eh, or the silk pants will just, the whole thing will fall up. There's no friction. I'm not getting the, the, the nice... It takes a while. Uh. <laughs> this doesn't sound right. It's about there. The instrument has helped you quite a bit, actually. <laughs> so, Spider-Man? No. Oh, it rings it's more. More, more, more of a cup, so it's... Do you, do you keep No, no, no. It's just, just keep skipping the hands together. Slightly, uh, this one is like someone fall, fall at the edge here, yeah. so it's like... So the flesh on the first... Uh, yeah, but uh, here it's... Yeah. I can comment that this is less painful than djembe and kahon. Uh, <laughs> not exactly though. No? <laughs> if I really, if I really have to play the loudest sound or to get certain kind of tone, you really have to play it. <laughs> can you show? Can you show? Demonstrate? Okay, then. Demonstrate! Demonstrate! <laughs> Have to play loud, then this. Uh... I am ready. So, last question before we start to wrap up: Are there any myths slash misconceptions? Uh, about what you do that you would like to dispel? I mean, I, what I do for a living? Yeah. Uh, playing music? Yeah. Uh, or, or specifically drums and percussion in particular? I mean, so, most of them feel that it should be a hobby. La. But they always, if, like, if I tell them I play music, they feel like, uh, what, I, what, what job are you doing? So they can't believe that this is your profession? Yeah. And what would you like to say in response to this? common misconception? Um, we do what we love. I mean, even, even if you pick to be a writer or, 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 or you want to be an actor, 
is a profession. Or you want to be a lawyer, it's a profession. You want to be an engineer, it's a profession. So a musician is a profession, you know. It's, it's what we do for a living. Yeah. Whether folks out there might be able to visualize it or not. Yeah, because I guess music has been looked as an art and it's for, uh, for, for entertainment. So it, it, they, they feel that uh, you can't make a living out of it. Um, because life is, I mean, there are many changes to how uh, they look at musicians and approach musicians. So they feel that musicians can't make a living. And it, it's, it's a journey. Nah. If you take that step as a musician, you face everything that you have to face on that path whatever it may come. So, uh, 50 years, I faced it. <laughs> I'm living with it. <laughs> Wise words, huh? Yes. Wow, that's very aptly put. Nicely summed up. Okay, so, Jarong. <laughs> so mine is like the same as yours there. Eh? I mean, mine is more like, like the, 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 let's say, like the, how, because he's my, he's a lot of my seniors, so his generation of people, they have played for a lot of legends. And like when when the the younger group like my generation of people who also got the chance to play with those legends, no one would believe on. Huh? You know, to the general public, they will like they oh so what no this is what you're doing oh I'm going on tour with this person, then they will be like like huh, please la. like they won't believe like these things but like yeah. these these level of people all done it already. So I feel like it's very hard to explain to especially the boomers lah like that we have a lot of legendary musicians who are playing for legends and, and have been doing so for decades and decades yeah right? and like they, those were the prime times like Mandel Pop prime time was that right. time right, 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 right. <laughs> it's mad so to, to sum up I, I guess the, the general public um, can take notice that uh, there are people out there who do this for a living and have been doing this for a very long time at a very very high level consistently for many many decades okay so for for the show we have a we have a jingle and this jingle that is played at the beginning of the show and every episode we have a unique version played by our guests along with myself and uh let's hear what today's version sounds like ready Again, I want to thank Jarong and Mohamed Noor for coming down for our show, Let's Talk Drums. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.